Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Tuesday, December the 22nd. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your trading room. Any questions you may have for me, you can use this email address. The link to the free room. Yes, it is a free room, 100% free. You do not have to be a member of Trade Ideas to be in our free room. Room is open Monday to Friday between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Eastern Time. I share my screen live on the mic. And of course, this, this week is going to be a truncated week, uh, half a day on Thursday. And of course, the markets are closed on Friday. In the email you're getting, you will see a promo code for 25% off. Happy Holly, all in capital letters, 25, and don't forget the percent. So it's Happy Holly, 25%, all in caps, and that'll get you 25% off. As always, if you wanted to try us out, you know, you could always just take out a standard monthly subscription. Apply the 25%. The, the, the discount's only good for the first month. But if you decided you really liked us and you wanted to upgrade, say, from standard to premium or from a monthly to an annual subscription, if you do so within 30 days, we will honor the 25% promo code. All right. Well, I want to get back to or show you what I talk about every now and then regarding the AI. So let me, hopefully this is going to work. Yeah, this may not, um, okay, I, I don't want to click on this, but I want to show you Mavis. So look at Mavis, M-V-I-S. So there was the original alert at 731. Actually got stopped out. Look what happened. This was a, this was a short, okay? So um, this was probably some kind of a topping pattern. Thought, uh, okay, this looks like it's topped out. And then, and then it popped right back up to the stop price. So it got to uh, 781, that was the stop price, that's where it got out of the trade. So as I, as I have said many, many times, especially if you've been in the room, I absolutely recommend that you add the re-entry time and re-entry uh, price columns. If you wanna have the stop, you can do so also. Because what happens is this, is that when the AI gets an alert, automatically there is a re-entry price calculated. It's no great scientific uh, feat. It's just halfway between the entry and the stop. So that's why these, these are automatically calculated the minute you get an AI alert. You'll get a trigger, okay? Um, and you'll see the time. So that's why you have this column because you see the other ones, they're, 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 they haven't triggered. So why did this trigger? Why did Mavis trigger? Because it got up to 786, it hit the stop, and then it came right back down to 756, which was the re-entry, okay? So you can look at it this way. The AI was a little bit early on this, on that short, okay? And then it gave you another opportunity to short right here at 756, right there at 756, right up here, okay? Look what happened afterwards. I mean, this went from 756 all the way down to 672, almost straight popped around here a little bit and got all the way down here to 625. Now I'm not saying you wouldn't have taken anything out here, but all I'm saying is that if you don't have this re-entry time, re-entry price columns uh, loaded, if you have the AI, then you're doing yourself a disservice, okay? You really should pay attention to these. I haven't looked at the other ones here for the uh, HRTX. This is the one that really caught my eye though. And unfortunately I would have taken the trade but I was uh, doing something else at the time uh, on the alert. And by the way, you, you can set up the, uh, an alert um, when I say that um, in the action. So it's always sound alert. You can set up a sound alert. So you'll get a sound alert, of course, when the AI takes the trade or alerts you to, to the first time. You'll also get a sound alert if the reentry price is hit. Okay, so you can do it that way. The other thing you can do, you know, if you want to be a little more proactive, is that because we don't have so many, we don't have so many alerts, you could just put price alerts. You could go to our price alerts. Hopefully this is not going to... Give me a second here. Uh, where are you? I'm just looking for... There we are. Okay, so you could set up price alerts right on the chart, okay, and using our price alerts window. So what you would do is you would go right to the chart and just set like, right to 756. Now, I, th th this may disappear, so I'm going to move this over here. But you would just go to 756, right-click, create the price alert. I know it says 757, 
but and then you don't have to put a note in if you don't want and then you just save it and so there it appears right on the chart so what would have happened is that this would have gone up and then the minute it hit this uh, the re-entry price you would, have, you would have got a price alert so you know if you want to be a little more pro proactive you can set up all these price alerts right here these are all the re-entries and see what happens okay that's what I would I mean I'm not saying I do that because I you know I, I will hear this sound alert also so I don't have to do it that way but you can also maybe you do it both you know set up the price alerts and of course have the sound alerts on this window at the same time and I just want to show you one uh, unbelievable alert that we saw and let's see if it's still hanging out there yeah so it is no <laughs> This is, this is really good. Good, good, good example of what I was talking about in the room. So, CYCC. So I had said, when I first saw this one, this was sitting right around here, okay, around 480 or so. So immediately, I, I go and take a look at the longer term time frame. So I saw this, uh, th this was at uh, right here, 595, that candle, that's the high, 595. So I said, you know what, I, but I said, look, if this ever, and I didn't ever think it would happen today, I said, if this gets through that 595, maybe tomorrow or sometime next week, it may never happen. But I said, look left, look how much room this has. I mean, that, that high that week was up to 19. Well, look what it did. I mean, <laughs> I, and I was stunned that it, would, that it took it out, 595, it took it out and it got all the way up to 707. Now, so almost a dollar. But I kept saying to people, because look at the float, 4.8 million in the float. That is, a, that is a supply of stock. That's a very, very, very low supply. So what happens is, yes, when you get demand, and there was some news for this company, uh, some, some uh, biotech firm uh, took 7 million shares at the market. So that, that kind of boosted this, uh, you know, that, that got this stock running. But I said in the room, if you took this one, you cannot walk away from your computer because as fast as this goes up, this can happen also. So, you know, you might have been um, feeling pretty comfortable. Uh, ah, it's over seven. I'm just going to go downstairs, make a sandwich. Uh, no, okay? These, these low float situations, as fast as they go up, they can come down just equally as fast. So always, always be at your computer when you're in a very low float situation like this one. All right, everybody, um, let's see. I guess I'll do, yeah, I'll do a video tomorrow. And then uh, definitely, I'm, I'm sure I will not do one on Thursday, though I might, depends on what happens. If, if, if I typically don't like to trade half days, I will open the room, but I typically don't like to trade half days, but we'll see what happens. So if you have any questions for me, here's the email address you can use. This is a link to the free room, and I will open the room tomorrow. And let me get my capture program loaded here. I'll open the room tomorrow at 9 o'clock Eastern. I hope everybody has a great evening and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.